Hi YouTube, Matt here with another YouTube video for 3D uh, Vectors 3D models. This is just a carry-on for uh, the South Eastern Railway Family First Saloon. So just carrying on from where we were before. So this is part two. Um, obviously, you saw the chassis modifications and the body going on. So this is a new body shell and the one you saw previously so I wanted to do one for myself so I could show you how it's done properly um, so this has been sanded down you can see and filled and also the holes drilled for handrails and cleaned up sanded roof's been sanded holes have been opened up to 1.2mm for the roof fence here which come with it <coughs> um, Overall it still fits on the chassis, all good. Um, so that's all the holes are drilled, cleaned up, any imperfections done. Um, end looks the same. So that's all fine. Again, a bit more sanding around there to clean it up. So the next stage is to basically prime uh, this body shell. Not the chassis. Um, just the body shell itself. And uh, then it will go on to some more interesting things so back from priming and filling I've done a couple of coats of grey primer on this and also filled a few additional gaps and holes which I could see um, also fitted the roof vents which come with the kit and also I've fitted the rain strip it's a little bit thicker than I would have liked but it's the only stuff I've got on me at the moment this is just a plastic hard strip or a plastic strip from Evergreen um, usually a little bit thinner than that like 0 0.01 or something like that of uh, an inch um, so quite small but unfortunately this is a little bit bigger um, so I basically glued each end and raised it up in the middle and used um, some acrylic varnish just to hold it in place and then of course that would be primed with white primer which will be its finishing colour so white roof um, the body shell now is all filled and finished um, it basically will need again to go through the holes for the uh, handles for the doors any handrails etc um, so those will be done separately um, in little bits and uh, then they'll be darkened and blackened with uh, chemicals uh, the bottom or well, the body itself will be primed in red because this will be a purple lake body shell this is an early body shell which you can tell by the ends uh, so this will be done in red primer then the paint will go on top um, and then it will be lined with a yellow single lining around the mouldings which should take a few months um, <laughs> so it'll take me a while to do um, but overall it's looking pretty good and progressing in the right direction. So on to some internal things, speaking about paint and bits and pieces. Um, this is the furniture basically you will get with the kit. So this using I think the Kentony Sussex Bogey Saloon which is sort of similar but a bit shorter. Um, I've used as a base for modelling the interior furniture. So we've got four single seats which go around doors, long seat which goes in one compartment, and then the two bench seats which will also use two of the single seats in the saloon which is this area here. Um, now we need to be primed and painted so first class usually it's sort of a blue colour the manufacturers like to use. Um, so if we turn it over the body shell and try and keep it in shot you can see a sort of L-shaped support there along that wall and on the side wall so a single seat will go there and one here and you can glue it to the wall with a spot of glue and you can see on this side a long uh, support along there for the long seat and then on this side this is the saloon so uh, the long bench seats will go along this wall and that wall and we'll stop before the door which is here and then the other two single seats will go there 
and there on that wall here I mean this is the toilet so this needs an opaque window or a frosted window uh, which I'll sort of discuss a bit later so the interior will be painted brown just standard um, and then the seating will be painted blue and highlighted with brown bits and pieces as well for the wood so that is the next stage of that little uh, section as well so in the next part most of this will be painted and primed the interior anyway um, the exterior will be probably in its undercoat of red and the roof will be white and then it'll be ready to go to uh, paint so just before this goes to the uh, paint shop or primer shop I thought I'd show you some uh, handrails so I've made these today out of 0 0.45 brass uh, so you need the whole speed 0.45 mil um, you can obviously get those drill bits from a specialist like Eileen's Emporium um, and I just use a um, small hand drill like this one or a pin voice drill I think you call it um, so you can see here I put them on the end um, there was no photos of uh, this carriage with them on I can't find any of this carriage in service at all um, I don't know how many were built um, but so I've done a little bit of research from the Cantonese Sussex um, type which is also a saloon but it's got bogies on it and it's longer but they're of a similar type um, so I've started to use their photos so um, so it's a bit of a get a bit of a guess really on this but uh, there are no holes to actually Put your handrails on uh, the end so uh, just be careful and measure it out properly um, so on this one I've got another hole up here which another uh, piece of wire will come out and get soldered on to uh, the main handrail on the side you can see here I've made the um, L shape type as we go down here as well they'll be removed for priming and just moving it around, you can see on the other side uh, the L shaped handrails again. So, just thought I'd show you those, and now it's off to taping up and priming. Okay, just back from the paint shop, and you can see her bottom is primed in red primer, it's just Halford's plastic primer. Uh, the top is primed in white primer from Halford's as well. Uh, just using some uh, special masking tape um, just basically mask off the roof, did the bottom first and did the top afterwards um, so the bottom half of the body is now ready to paint um, and finish off uh, just needs a bit more cleaning inside um, so that one is pretty much ready to go so um, on with painting and paint I'm using is just it's basically a Caledonian coach purple which was recommended to me a long time ago uh, P434 from Phoenix Precision Paints but I have mixed it up a little bit and made it a little bit darker so it's closer to what is on the blue bell at the moment um, so that's what I'm using and I'll be painting this and it'll be a few days so it dries um, and it'll be the fun part which is lining out I'll take a few days. So on with painting. Right back from the paint shop, uh, you can see here the body is now painted externally. Uh, there'll be a few uh, areas to pick out with some uh, teak around the window, um, opening door frame, shall we say? So around the drop lights, door, door, and possibly around the toilet window, which is here. So that's been finished in purple lake which is a custom mix which I've made um, so that's been painted on both sides the roof's been uh, painted in white or white primer uh, also tried some of the uh, handrails fitted as well just to check they line up the holes so that's all good they need to be chemically blackened um, done all, all the door ones as well um, would also recommend um, uh, the Bill Bedford um, sort of handrail bending jig if you like 
um, that's quite handy to use for uh, say the bracket handles or the handles on the doors not so much the ends but yeah you can see they're quite different um, seats have all been painted so these are the internal seats and painted in blue for first class uh, red for third usually um, all the small chairs have been picked out and details so these will go into uh, the actual uh, compartments and the saloon in the middle one end is the guard and the other end is the toilet so um, all in all everything's painted and then we go into the lining so the lining um, I was going to do by hand on a on a bow pen if you have seen a bow pen that's what one looks like I can pick these up quite cheap um, you can see I did start I take out the light so I did start around here and as you can see I've picked out the doors on this side um, but I've had some problems with paint consistency um, not really working so what I'm going to try is I bought a I think it's a gel pen or something along those lines um, and I'm going to use that instead of the bow pen um, maybe just use the bow pen for the straight lines and use the hand pen gel pen which is yellow um, which I'll show you when it arrives uh, to go around all the smaller more intricate parts uh, so that's the aim insides needs to be painted brown uh, which I've sort of started and also there needs to be a little bit of uh, cleaning up inside also I've ordered some lighting for this as well so uh, I'll be installing some uh, lighting which is similar to the Hornby uh, magnetic type ones but a cheaper and B you can make it yourself so uh, hopefully come back to you when I've actually done the lining thank God which will be probably three months from now so welcome back to the workbench um, as you saw before I have painted one side in its purple lake um, and of course I was just about to start the lining so if I flip it over you can see the lining so I have done one side and if you're asking how I've lined it out what I was going to do was uh, use paint as well as one of these sort of uh, lining bow pens however it wasn't really working that well and I wasn't really wanting to go out and buy some more paint etc etc um, so I went back to an old trick I learned from I think it's London Brighton South Coast Circle and I used a gel pen this is just a, a yellow gel pen this is by Mitsubishi Pencil Co Limited uh, code number UM-120AC uh, an angelic colour apparently I was hoping for a warmer yellow but I can't find any at all but it comes out reasonably okay so I still need to do the other side um, you can see I put the handles back on and then uh, on the transfers so back on the workbench now and you can see this side's all been lined out as well now with the uh, same pen uh, 0.5mm um, yellow gel pen um, so that's all been done now and varnished it's best to protect it after you've done it because it's still wet to the touch so you have to put varnish over the top of it to protect it so you don't smudge it off um, on the other side you can see I've made a start on transfers and big thanks to Richard uh, Richard Salmon at the Bluebell and who works in the carriage and wagon department um, has been helping me out with uh, positioning of numbers, letters, etc. and working through uh, various photos of uh, various saloons, etc. So we believe uh, placement wise it should have guard, the number, South Eastern Chatham lettering first, which is wrong for this, which I'm talking to Fox about, and saloon, and again the number just here. Um, the sheets are these ones 
from Fox Transfers FRH4471. Uh, they do come with the saloon um, lettering. You can see there, same number but with an X on the end. Um, they should have a first with it but unfortunately they don't. So uh, I need to talk to them about that and see if they can produce some. Otherwise it's not going to look very good. Um, but overall that's what we settled with and uh, I'm going to do the other side now these are just water slides so warm water a bit of washing up liquid you can use some uh, micro sole as well to soften them and let them set properly um, of course this will have varnish over the top of it as well um, so I'm going to do the other side let that dry off um, and then I'll be on to the internals hopefully. Hi all, welcome back to Workbench again and you can see now the transfers have been applied, um, it's been varnished. Um, I want to say a big thank you to um, Derek Haywood, a photographer for, I think he does the Bluebell as well as various other ones and also a big thanks to John at uh, Precision Labels who do transfers. Um, I think as I discussed on the last part, um, Fox, who do most of the transfers for this, didn't do a um, lettering big enough to go with the saloon, which uh, we still disagree about, but there you go. Um, so luckily uh, I found a photo from Derek from uh, Kentony Sussex of 177 Family Saloon, uh, which is painted red or slightly darker red now um, and managed to find the lettering off one of his photos and then edit that photo um, to um, strip it down and then redo it on the computer as well as put in the appropriate decoration highlights etc and John at the transfer company um, Precision Labels uh, managed to turn that around within 24 hours at a very reasonable cost. Um, so that's all been done now both sides. Um, all the handrails have been fitted on the doors and also on the ends. Um, so now we're going on to the insides of this carriage. So as you can see I have some strips of clear acetate. You can buy this very cheaply uh, off Amazon or local shop or something like that. But it's basically uh, the old overhead projector um, sheets which are clear and these will do for windows of course they're not uh, flush windows or flush glazing but we all just have to put up with what we have so these have been cut uh, they are unluckily 13 millimeters deep and across it's just the width of an A4 sheet of acetate um, these are then um, cut into sections and then they are glued. Now I use, uh, you can get something called canopy glue which is a bit like PVA and you can also get, um, I can't remember what it's called now, but uh, glue and glaze but you can also get this, this is from uh, Deluxe Materials um, Modelers Craft Glue, Flexible Clear and Dries Clear so windows, canopies, so you can, as I say canopy glue it's generally called uh, it's it dries very quickly and it goes tacky, so uh, I recommend that. Uh, so you just use a brush, a bit of water, um, add it where you want it, or don't over water it or over uh, dilute it, or else it just runs everywhere. Uh, so you put it on a brush, uh, put it around where you need it, and then put it into place and then it dries clear. Uh, the inside of this carriage is nice and uh, flat after I've basically flattened it all back, painted it brown inside and also painted the roof white which I'll explain later. Um, so that is ready to go so on to the windows. Okay welcome back to the workbench one more time and possibly the last time for this project anyway. Um, so you can see the windows are glazed, you can see my reflection in the windows. Um, you can see the toilet window here has been uh, painted white from the back. Um, also the internals you can see there have been fitted so the uh, 
seat in the compartment and one either side of the door then the long bench seats and then one either side of that door to the toilet so that is pretty much it um, apart from you put a nice interior in here so you kind of want to see it I suppose so what I've done is I've been to layouts for you and they do lighting and various uh, details for your layout and they do an internal um, light system a bit like Hornby's mag light system which they basically copied um, and these have been around for ages I've used them before Hornby's Eva were existent so if I tip it over you can see here excuse the thick wire but it comes with a kit uh, so we've got a light in the guard end one light in the compartment and three lights in the top and the battery is hidden away in the toilet as you do um, this is all operated with a magnet typically a Hormy magnet um, but you can use any magnets and it's off at the moment I'm using uh, their kit which has got a latching reed switch in there which you can just see alongside the LED um, tag strip as I call it um, and you can just wave that across the top and you can see LEDs illuminated and you can probably not really see it on the camera but um, that is illuminated rather nicely and you can see the internals and again just to turn it off there you go off um, so that lights up the internals very nicely and you can see all the seating and hopefully when I get around to it putting the passengers inside as well um, also a little bit of news on transfers now I've been talking to Fox transfers quite a bit this last week about putting first and saloon on the uh, or under the windows um, they wouldn't do first for me um, additionally and also the saloon writing that they have is slightly different to what it should be the S should be bigger and the rest of the letters smaller um, so they're going to look at this and do it properly um, uh, apparently one guy wants to do it uh, as per Kentony Sussex but the shading's wrong on that so um, fun 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 uh, the first were made by precision labels for me so I really appreciate uh, appreciate being turned around in 24 hours but hopefully the next batch of transfers from Fox should have uh, first and saloon the correct size and look really nice so what I'm going to do is attach this to the chassis I'm going to add a floor later and see how it looks and there we have it one new carriage body shell on a generic modified generic Hornby six wheeler chassis with my own mag lights you can see there so that's all all on working and looking very nice so that finishes that one um, got some other projects coming up um, so next it'll be the Aldbury carriages and uh, I'll walk you through that slowly and uh, I'll show you how to do those so hopefully you've enjoyed this workbench video and hopefully it helps you build your South Eastern Railway or South Eastern Chatham Railway uh, first family saloon